Yeah. Party on, guard. Party on, Wayne. All right, today we're talking about the exciting world of investor relations and social media. Yeah. Yeah. I love social relations with investors. Just to clarify, investor relations is a department within a public company just to produce information about the company and its financial performance to existing and potential shareholders. And did you know that more and more relational departments are using their or investor relation departments are using social media like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, SlideShare, and blogs to connect with their customers and provide them with investment information? Cha? Cha! Actually, Why I didn't not? know that. But today we have Cheryl Joyce and talk about social media. She sounds like a hottie. Swing! Swing! Oh. Alright. Hi. Hi. Nice Welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, my monkey's fly to my butt. Okay, well, <laughs> where are we? Whose basement is this? Swing! Swing! So, tell us about yourself. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Cheryl Joyce and I represent a research company, uh, Q4 Web Systems. Uh, that study the impact of social media on investor relations in North America and in Europe. That sounds really exciting. Uh, well, it is. Let me continue. Our studies prove that more and more IR departments are using Twitter and other social media sites to provide investors and prospective investors with uh, special information. Well, who's this? Oh, that's Dave. Uh, that's Dave. Dave. Twitter is the predominant social media medium for the dispensing of such information. Following Twitter are Facebook, YouTube, SlideShare, and blogs, but Twitter is still number one. Well, Dave is right. Uh, roughly half the companies that use Twitter are trying to engage their investors, though communication generally remains one-sided. Investors seem reluctant to ask questions or make comments through social media. Companies use Twitter to tweet their quarterly earnings, link to an interview with the CEO, and discuss financial programs. Twitter also has a stop twits function that allows you to share investor specific information. Twitter also allows for a conversation between companies and investors through replies, retweets, and the use of hashtags to follow threads. In my expert opinion, I strongly recommend putting Twitter links on your company homepages. Twitter isn't going anywhere. Everybody should follow me on Twitter. Thanks, I dig it. I tweet, but what about Facebook? Well, Facebook is an excellent example. We found that 77% or 278 companies in our study have Facebook accounts, and 37% of those use Facebook to provide investor-related material. That's right. Out of all the social media tools, Facebook has the highest level of engagement. Companies use it to provide investor information, but investors are more likely to use Facebook to talk to the company over other social media sites through wall posts, private messages, and commenting. Facebook provides a perfect platform for two-way communication. It's always a good idea for a company to have an official Facebook page, not only for investment relations, but also as a way to stay aware of what peers, competitors, and customers are saying. I'm particularly fond of the like button. And I like to poke, poke, poke. Chill out, Gar. Chill out. Take your meds. <laughs> Goodbye, Facebook. What about YouTube? Well, I recommend creating an official YouTube account to provide investor-related material. You can use it for promotional videos and executive interviews, which makes it easy for financial media and institutional and retail shareholders to access investor and financial information. Yeah, you rock, YouTube. Dave, what about SlideShare? I don't know what that is. Oh, I use SlideShare all the time. Like last week, I made a PowerPoint of my kitten giving birth, and it's super cool. I can't wait to share it with all of my friends and my fans. Yeah. All right, Garth. Thanks for that. Yeah. SlideShare is also a great way for companies to post information from seminars and investor meetings for people who might have been absent. It can also address corporate. I can also address corporate blogs and I'll talk about their function in IR. Allow me. Many companies use multiple blogs for multiple uses. IR related material focuses on significant financial milestones or events.
Reading your corporate blogs. You okay like there, Garth? <laughs> just a little nervous. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Just relax. Okay. It's only Aurora. Okay. Okay. Well, reading your corporate blog sounds like a really good time. Not. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Isn't Facebook's only for my sexy relations? What about my, not my invest relations? As a TV professional, I like to use LinkedIn. Well, you bring up a really great point because more and more companies are using LinkedIn, though not necessarily for investor relations. Um, investors can track every move of the people in the organization, but relevant IR info is not usually shared on LinkedIn. Well, as riveting as this has all been, that's all the time we have today. Thanks for our hottie for coming in, and join us next week when join us next week when we get to, when I'll finally get to share my powerpoints on my kittens being born. It's really exciting. Really, really exciting. Wayne's World!